folks have been helping us write our story too. You're, each one of you is a beautiful quilt block. And we, you have woven into our lives and it, it just couldn't be a more fun, beautiful group of people to walk through life with. So we sincerely thank you for celebrating with us and being here and we love each one of you. Thank you very much. Northwest. Um, I went up there <laughs> my freshman year and first dance. Ah, uh, there she is. Okay. So uh, met Nancy, her sister Beth, and uh, their friend Sharon Whitakin, um, who later was my roommate. And so I, I was in band with these guys, and I, I truly believe that you know it's one of those God made things. I think if I never joined band, I never would have met them, and I never would have met Richard. So. Nancy is Richard's cousin, for those of you who don't know. So um, another roommate at Northwest was Susie, Susie Clark back here. <laughs> and uh, she could probably dish some dirt on me. Of, you know, if you want to go ahead and talk with her, uh, don't, don't go too deep there. <laughs> but Susie came from Carlinville tonight, or today. Carlinville, Illinois. And so we are so thankful for her coming. And unfortunately, we had two, two tables here that had some serious um, GPS issues. So um, I, I think all the Garmin people here tonight recommend buying a Garmin. And just go Oddly enough, Carlinville, Illinois isn't that big. But two people at that table are from Carlinville. And then Ted, and Ted, he grew up there. <laughs> so, all the coincidences of that. So um, at this time, Richard was up in Nebraska. And these two guys were keeping him on track and uh, trying to get him to study, I'm sure. <laughs> we have Jerry Pollard, best man. Jerry and Kathy came up from Brayton, Florida to be with us. We're so, so happy for you to be here. And uh, Tim Anderson and uh, Tanker and Tammy has come up from the Dallas area. And so they're farmhouse uh, fraternity buddies of Richard. So <laughs> they, uh, these, these three are still like, you know, three musketeers, you know. So uh, Richard transferred down to ASU his last year of uh, college and got a job with Hartford in Phoenix and transferred over to New Orleans. And Nancy and Paul then asked him to be an usher in her wedding and I was a candlelighter, and um, they married at Hope Church, and this tree on the right was where they were, Beth and three guys were standing when we came up, and um, it's a wonder lightning didn't just burn that tree down, because I mean, two strikes, boom, you know? <laughs> Seriously, it, it was funny, because the rest of the evening, he was like, Secretly trying to get a, a ride to the dinner in my car, and then he was telling me something he didn't want to ride. He didn't want the keys because he's one. And I, this whole time, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this guy's talking to me. I can't believe he's in the car. It was so funny. So, um, probably much to Nancy's mom's dismay, uh, he invited me to the bridal brunch, unbeknownst to her. <laughs> so the next day, I show up at their house, and his dad asked us to come out and uh, get a picture. So this was the second day we knew one another. <laughs> oh my gosh! So he came back in um, Memorial Day weekend and asked me to marry him. And they said, so it's from April to May. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. oh, yes. He, he came oh, back in July, and we got the ring. And uh, we only told our parents, though. So. But we kind of think some family might have known something, because um, Ann makes this cake, says the show me girl welcomes the bike you want me. <laughs> so we thought that was kind of funny. So I went down to see uh, Labor Day. And this is the Thomas house. There's a River Road, and Annabella Homes, out near uh, west of uh, New Orleans. And so he gives me the ring uh, on this porch. <laughs> and right at the time he was getting ready to propose, this crop duster comes over. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> 
honest to goodness true. Like when that crop does, we got the worst timing. <laughs> so the, the next day was his grandma Coates' 80th birthday party at the Ramada Inn. And um, so the last entry in that night, she says, must mention a telegram came during the evening from Richard and Laura Beth um, announcing their engagement. <laughs> so we thought that was pretty cool. We made it in Grandma Coates' journal. <laughs> So, um, October, Richard moved up there in January of uh, 83 and was working with his dad. And um, then in October, we got married at Westminster Presbyterian in, in St. Joe. And um, so these are just some wedding shots of, of that day. Uh, uh, some of our flowers are sitting around. We had so many flowers. <laughs> Who knew, 40 years later, we get to use the same garden. <laughs> <laughs> and these were my um, that girls that stood up with me. So I had my sister Deborah and bridesmaid Janice and uh, Richard's sister Andrew. So uh, good crew. And this was Richard's trio. Uh, we had you mentioned Jerry Pollard, the best man, and then my youngest brother Todd. Um, he's the, the, the young one, and then Michael. <laughs> I'm not sure what they taught him that weekend. I, I fear that, you know, he was only a senior in high school, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then brother-in-law, Michael Stanley. <laughs> so this was the wedding party. Aww. The little kids were so cute. Just goofing around time. And uh, I was going to mention Janice. So Janice is the friend I've known the longest. Um, we were, oddly enough, we both came from a tiny, tiny town named New Point. But she's a year older than, than me, so we never, you know, really were super good friends until, <laughs> until uh, we were on the cheerleading team together. And so, you know, if, if you want us to, to do something out on the 18th green, we can work on a cheer for you. <laughs> Right? She can still do the splits. Yeah. <laughs> I know we saw we that. Saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so Chuck just mentioned that. Today. My brother Gary is here tonight. He's in the blue shirt back there. Gary, raise your hand. That's my that's my fourth sibling of the of uh, my family. And uh, brother or sister Deborah in this picture. I think they're they're actually plotting to see what they can do to our car. I think, I think that's what they're doing there. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, so then we have uh, the singer at the wedding was my roommate at the time, Deb Thong, and then Tim Anderson was the trumpet player. And so Richard, we were talking about the meeting. He goes, "Well, I'd like Tim to, to play trumpet." I'm like, "I've never heard a trumpet at a wedding before." <laughs> he goes, "No, he, he played for my sister Andrea. He did really, yeah, really good job." Okay. And, uh, Tim knocked it out of the park. I'm telling you, it was a beautiful thing to have in there. Truly, truly. I should have known he's a nationally recognized trumpet player, so, you know, how bad can he be, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, we have a picture of Vivian. We're, we're so happy that Vivian was part of the wedding and is part of our 40th celebration. So be sure, and she's at this table over here. If you haven't said hi to Richard's mom. <laughs> Another person in the wedding was a guest book attendant. And so Anne is here. And Anne was the cake baker that you saw earlier, the decorated cake. We, growing up, we all had decorated cakes on, for our birthday. So we thought that was normal in a family, right? <laughs> Little did we know it wasn't. <laughs> So in this picture, um, we have uh, our little green bear is here tonight. Our little green bear is now six foot four. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. Did you notice that your little pillow is over here? You can practice with it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's wife Heather and his son Reed and Hudson came over from Lawrence to be with us. So we really appreciate it. <laughs> in this picture and she is they're part of it both of these guys had their anniversaries this is funny that we've introduced them earlier but um we're so we're so happy you're able to be here um the backstory 
I didn't know if they would make it or not. Their son, Johnny, is um, quite a swimmer. And so he was in a swimming competition and he, he won last night or yesterday and he swam today. And so Kristen, after the swim meet, they eat and get ready and hustle up here. So we, we are so thankful for you being with us tonight. We really appreciate the effort that, that you guys put in. And Johnny won first at his meet today. So. Marcus is here with his daughter Basil. Marcus came up from New Orleans. <laughs> He's the audiovisual guy we talked about at the post game and pre game. So if you want to ask him how. <laughs> He's had an easy job here, but you notice everything's gone flawlessly audiovisual, right? <laughs> And then uh, the last nephew is Ethan. Michael's, uh, this is Michael's two sons, and Ethan's the youngest. And Ethan is here with his wife, Nicole, daughter Andrea, son Henry, and Callie. And so we're, they're from Lee Summit, and uh, they kind of keep us young. They, we'll get a call that there's a volleyball game on this Saturday, or, or there's a, a soccer game of the five-year-olds. And so that's, that's kind of a new experience for us, so it's been kind of fun. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Here, sorry. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I always thought this was kind of a funny picture. Leaving, leaving the uh, church in a, in a storm of bird seed. And now see, Kathy's being so nice, taking pictures, right? And where's Tim? Tim, his hands are empty, and this bird seed art is like coming at us. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so, first house was a, a cute little rental off Ashland Avenue in St. Joe, and then um, we were so proud when we got to buy our first house, and, and uh, Debbie, this is Candace in the front yard, you know, <laughs> there were, yeah, yeah, so um, everyone in the wedding party, except Todd, and, and then in addition, Ann, all had kids the next year. So there's five kids out there that we always know how old they are because we take our anniversary in minus one. <laughs> and Marcus is one of those kids. I'm not giving away your age, I'm sorry. 39 and holding up. <laughs> and then Candace is, is another one that uh, is in that group. And so while we were in St. Joe, we ran around with this group of, group of friends. There's five couples. And we did Kansas City trips and all kinds of things. And um, we still get together. Unfortunately, one couple is, uh, they live in Colorado and he had a wedding tonight, so he couldn't be here. And then uh, the other couple that isn't here uh, is in Europe, so we gave them a pass. <laughs> <laughs> but Michelle, Drennan, and uh, Elaine back there, they are part of the group and we got together just last month, so 40, almost five years later, but we're still, still getting together with these guys. Michelle gave us our first couple showers. <laughs> so um, I got a job at Payless Shoes, actually it was called Volume Shoe Corporation at the time, um, then later Payless Shoe Source, and we moved to Topeka. And um, while we were at Topeka, Richard was working with Marshall Clinton. And so uh, Tana Field, Tana, raise your hand. Okay, so Tana is one of our longest time friends too, because uh, we met in Topeka back in 87-ish, and um, we've been friends ever since, and this is about how hard we laugh all the time. I mean, we're just laughing anytime we get together with her, so it's, uh, it's been a good one. <laughs> so um, Richard was in Kansas City then, next working, and I'm still in Topeka, so we moved to Lawrence, we have to wait for and that's my mom, this is May 15, and uh, for some reason he's carrying me over the threshold here in this picture. And that's mom, mom and Ann helped us move. That was a hot day for May 15th. That was a hot day, so bless your hearts for, for me there and helping. But um, uh, we, we enjoyed that house. And the, um, so Todd went to, started school at KU in, 80, in 84, and he kind of converted our whole family, except for my dad. My dad always, always cheered for MU, and, <laughs> and Gary, I don't know, you're, you're kind of on the fence. I think sometimes you cheer for KU and sometimes you cheer for anyway. The rest of the family, 
they kind of converted it to Jay Hearts. And so it was, uh, we had the Christmas dinner that year, and we hired Baby Jay to come and surprise Aww. the kids. <laughs> and so Baby Jay comes walking down the sidewalk, and, and uh, it, it was a fun day. It was probably one of the best hires we've ever made, I would say. Because, uh, and I think the parents, looking at all the KU jerseys, I think you must have known, and you told kids to, to wear those jerseys, probably. I don't know. Maybe this boys wore KU clothes all the time. I don't know. <laughs> So Lawrence, well, Lawrence is kind of a special time for us. Um, Richard got his MBA at Baker, and I got my uh, master's at KU then. And so then after that, I called and worked in Kansas City, so I moved to Lenexa. And um, we were there for a couple of years, and I moved in on Halloween. <laughs> you, know, you don't know how much candy to buy when you move in. Don't even know the neighborhood. Don't know what the kids are like. Ooh, what do you do? <laughs> So we were there for a little while, and um, structurally, we thought that this house probably wasn't a good thing to be there a long time. <laughs> so um, we, we kind of unfortunately decided to move to Parkville, and I said unfortunately because it was a great house, probably one of our favorite houses, but the day, the morning we signed those papers, Richard got a call that afternoon from his company saying, we've been bought out and you're being moved to Chicago. <laughs> so we were there for less than 11 months and I was in the house longer than Richard because he was up in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> so we moved up to Rolling Meadows, a, a, a north, northwest suburbs, and it was a great place to to, for people to visit and for us to do things and all, but we kind of missed family and so we, we wanted to move back closer. And uh, so Richard got a job with Coke um, down in Wichita, but uh, he kind of choked on Coke, kind of Coke quickly. <laughs> and, and the B2K killer was still loose in the town at that time, and the course of the trial was going on. And so we said, yeah, those of you who know Wichita, well, we you know what I'm talking about. That's right. Yeah, I still have nightmares. I keep reading the paper at nightmares. Yeah. So anyway, we um, we got back up into Oakley Park, and this year is our 20th anniversary in that house. So yes. All of your address comes a complete sigh of relief by not being erased all the time. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, um, Susan Day is Richard's former boss, and so we just want to recognize some of our bosses now that we're back in the area, you know, who do we work for and things. And so, where's Susan? I'm not seeing her. Oh, there you are. Okay, Susan and Dennis Day. Are and we have to uh, thank Susan for the dress form. She, we borrowed the, uh, the dress form from her. So, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. And Risa Sperbage is right there. I'll put your hand up, Risa. She got me back into Genix. <laughs> and so we, I was thankful for that. And uh, I say get back into because it used to be Geo Access. And so I knew her back in those days. And so then she, believe it or not, we are. <laughs> 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 but we're still good friends, so that's that's good. That's good. <laughs> and then a, another boss that um, I had is Pat. Pat Carol Carey is here with her husband John, and Pat was a great mentor at Garmin. I wouldn't have made it at Garmin without Pat. So let me tell you, she was she was a lifesaver. I've got some other Garmin peeps here tonight at their table. We got Kim Hanlon and uh, Linda Anderson, and then some other Garmin friends, or J.C. Johnson, yeah, don't duck, I see you, and <laughs> Freedom, Freedom Parker, yeah. This is kind of, you know, we're finding out that there's these funny little things that, that someone knows someone else and all. Um, I put Richard's dad's, uh, he wrote a book, a, a fiction novel on about Ireland, and a, a <coughs> young boy, I'll just say and um, put it on Garmin's site for sale, just to see if anyone would buy it. And so Karina read the back cover and realized that her, his dad grew up around Farragut, Shenandoah, and that's where they grew up. <laughs> so she was working at Garmin and she goes over to my office and, and says, 
did your father and mom did he grow? <laughs> so we've been friends ever since. So the first <laughs> serendipitous thing that made you uh, <laughs> So um, some other people we want to thank tonight is uh, Todd's wife, Donna. She did the posters. There's three posters. One outside is just beautiful, and there's two kind of fun, informative ones on the inside. She did a great job on those. So thank you very much. Are the photographers tonight? So please smile big. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's the one who smiled for too. So thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. This cake, Donna is a is a wonderful baker. So <laughs> if you if you ever get a chance to get in on her big stuff, please do. <laughs> so we have a group that we run around with now that uh, we really enjoy our wine and food and just have a great time. And that's kind of this table. These two tables right back there on the the back left. We. We've got uh, old neighbors, new neighbors, serendipitous friends, Garvin friends. It's, it's just a, a good group there. And in addition to that, we've uh, Tana's friend, Jean, is here. And then Father Stover is also a uh, wine connoisseur that we, <laughs> we have a good time talking to. So if, if you want to know anything about wine, ask him. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have Tonight we have the Cananser Cousins, the Coates Cousins, and the Kumpel Cousins. So we'll start with the, the Cananser Cousins. Some of them are right here. Uh, we've got uh, Stephen and Vicki and Jim, and then their brother Eugene is back there at the table with my brother. And their mother is right here, my Aunt Marlene. And then another branch of the, of the uh, Cananser branch is my cousin Julia and Steve Black. And so these are the card slapping, volleyball whacking, swimming pool lapping cousins. Did you see the? You saw some action shots up there. That's these guys. I'm, I'm telling you, that side of the family, they like to have fun. So <laughs> the um, lady, I wanted to mention the lady in blue in the center. Uh, she's our aunt Mildred, and next weekend we're going up to her hundredth birthday party. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know. and can tell stories back then and tell you what she had for lunch and I'm telling you, she's, she's blessed with that. So these are Richard's uh, Quads cousins on his mom's side and um, <laughs> I have been blessed to marry into this family, let me tell you. They are a wonderful, wonderful group of people and um, we have, I think all of them are here tonight. Let's see, I think they're on different tables though. Uh, we got. Fritz and Jennifer, right here, if you start on, the, on that side, Fritz and Jennifer, and then uh, Beth and Howard, and Beth and Howard have their 40th anniversary next month, yay, in November, yay. And then um, we've got Dan and Fran, Dan and Fran Hageman, and let's see, Michael's in there, and their sister Nancy is, yeah, she's the one that got it all started, their sister Nancy, so. <laughs> Yeah, good good group of people, and they, I guess I, let me go back to here. Uh, a lot of their kids are here tonight, too. Um, I was telling them they kind of inspired us with the weddings they invited us to, and, and so we, we, we said, weddings are a lot more fun this time instead of the way we did it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, Heidi and Andrew came over from St. Louis, bless their hearts. We've got Joe and Bree from St. Joe. We've got Chris. Oh, Kristen's back at, yay, back at the uh, cake table. Her mom was at the cake table 40 years ago, so we thought she would rise and roll with her daughter. <laughs> and then helping her is Hannah Catterton. She's from Maryville. Hannah, my cousin Kelly, is from Maryville, so you two might hitch a ride home or something. <laughs> see. And we have Mark and Maddie from St. Joe. And Eric and Ecta are here in Kansas City. Thank goodness, good to see you a little while. And where is Nathan, yeah, Nathan and, and uh, Kristen are married. And I'm missing one more. Oh, she did. Oh, okay, okay. And the kids too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, they, they, they're not this big, they dry now, can't they? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> well, that's too bad. I was kidding because um, Terry works where Nida's uh, son works. And so I was going to have you talk with Derek. This that. <laughs> and the, the last group are the my couple cousins on my dad's side. And so we've got Nida Messick from St. Joe and her sister Carla Kay from Houston. And in the back table, we've got Marilyn and Dave Davies came up from Osage City, Kansas. And then next to them are Shirley and Steve Kumble came down from Sioux Falls. <laughs> and let's see, am I missing anyone? Another Kumble cousin? Okay. I wanted to mention this this is a crazy coincidence. Um, so for a while, Jerry and Kathy lived in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And Shirley found out they lived in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And how did it, she, how did she know how did this conversation start? She just walked up to me and said, did you have a baby in Sioux Falls? <laughs> Kathy, she had a baby in Sioux Falls. Shirley and Steve were doctors, and so Shirley's practice was the one that delivered Kathy's baby. <laughs> mainly the, the Savannah table here, Kent Snowden was his um, best man at their wedding. So maybe you guys could, <laughs> thought that was kind of coincidental. <laughs> so uh, let's see. I th oh, and one other coincidence with this group. Um, so Kelly, my cousin on, on my dad's side, um, related to Kelly, she marries Mike Brownfield and I'm related to Mike on the Knanser, on Grandma Trimmer's side. So you'll have to enter, you're related to this guy back here with the beard and the glasses. This table's related to him. <laughs> you're not gonna admit to that now, are you? <laughs> they, they sent me a picture not too long ago, and uh, who was in that picture? Oh, was it, is it your aunt or your grandma? It's my grandmother. Oh, your grandmother. There are some similarities to my mom. It, it's pretty, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I'm done. Thank you for all the. the <laughs> you know, um, we're going to do the gift basket drawing next. And so I hope everybody run back, put your name in if you haven't put it in there yet. I'm um, going to do that next and then. Um, Mix and mingle, get a drink. The the bar closes down at 8:30, so um, fill up before then. And then, um, as you leave, there's a some boxes back there with little pull string gifts. So take one of those gifts with you, and um, maybe have fun using it. And think of us, and hopefully, hopefully get The tape measure's a little long. Don't get too nervous. You may not think well of us on that one. Thank you all for coming and Absolutely. celebrating with us. I'm telling you, my heart is so full with everyone in this room being here. And just love you guys and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.